Hi, and welcome to Introductory Organic Chemistry. My name is Jeff Moore, and I'm a professor of chemistry at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. My research interests are in the development of new organic materials, like self-healing polymers. I'm also very interested in chemical education, and you're watching an introduction to my online course in organic chemistry. The course is free of charge to anyone around the world, and the background that you're expected to have in order to take this class is the equivalent of one year of college-level chemistry. The course will cover the structure and reactivity of organic compounds in a way that will build intuition about how these compounds undergo transformations, or in other words, their chemical reactions. The course is broken up into 40 lessons, and for each of these lessons, you'll be watching three to five five-minute webcasts You'll be working POTDs, or in other words, problems of the day. And you'll have the option to participate in a live online discussion where we'll help our students strategize and problem solve. For each of the lessons, you'll also be given an exam-like problem where you'll have a limited amount of time to solve a problem related to the lesson's concepts, but it's a problem that you've never seen before. You'll have the opportunity to participate in one-on-one -on -one online peer-to-peer -peer tutoring, and a course discussion board for general questions. Finally, you'll be assessed with weekly online quizzes, and then the major assessments are three online exams and an online final exam. You might be asking what are organic compounds and why is it important to know about their structure and their reactivity? Organic compounds are certainly familiar to you. They are the building blocks of life. You know the proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids. These are all organic compounds. But organic compounds are much more than that. They are the signals for internal regulation like hormones and neurotransmitters and external communication. Things like pheromones used by insects or chemoattractants. But they're also colors and pigments, fragrances, and flavors. Organic compounds are chemical weapons of natural defense, like natural antibiotics, toxins, and poisons. They're the nutrients essential to life, like vitamins and cofactors. And organic compounds are also fuels for heat, transportation, electricity, things like natural gas, petroleum oil, and coal. They make up materials of clothing, packaging, and construction, you know things like fabrics, textiles, plastics, wood, composites. These are all also organic compounds. Synthetic organic chemistry is the area that is the creation of new organic compounds by chemists. We think about these as tools, tools that might be used to study nature, like diagnostic reagents, molecular probes, contrast agents, fluorophores, or other kinds of markers. But chemists also create compounds to influence it, things like pharmaceuticals or drugs, pesticides and herbicides. The organic chemistry content that you will learn in this course is important in and of itself, but it's also the means to acquire better problem-solving skills. The problems that you're going to encounter in my class are different than what you might be used to. Organic chemistry problems require solutions that are multifaceted, multi-step, and non-algorithmic. In other words, a formula isn't going to solve these kinds of problems. And nobody solves these problems by memorization alone. The pathway to a solution, the main point I want you to take away from the graphic that you see in front of you, is that you're going to learn that solving organic problems involves learning to take risks, accepting failure, and dealing with uncertainty getting used to taking chances, overcoming setbacks, and developing confidence to move through doubt are the experiences that you're going to encounter in the problems that you solve in my class. Becoming comfortable with these experiences is certainly going to help you confront the kinds of problems that are sure to fill your future professional careers.